What is up guys? It's Pickle Pizza Productions here and today I'm gonna be traveling to the land of the potatoes. So my grandparents rented this really awesome black SUV. It's supposed to be really big and they said that it has like eight seats. So, and hopefully this is gonna be a really fun road trip, but obviously that's not what I'm excited about. I'm, I can't wait to get to Idaho because when we get there, we're gonna visit our Uncle David and Aunt Nancy and they have this huge ranch, tons of ATVs. It's super big, they have horses and there's a river next to it. And it's gonna be really awesome. I'm really excited to go to this trip. So I bet you are too. Even if you didn't come along, you're probably excited to see how awesome it is. So without further ado, let's get on to the second vlogumentary of 2017 summer. After the first nine hours of our car ride, we arrived at the Winnemucca Inn where we would spend the night. I got to try out my GoPro in the pool they had there, which I hadn't used in a really long time. I would be using it for when we went river rafting during the trip. Oh my god, I'm so excited! And when we finally did arrive at their house, we went down to the river to greet everyone, including our younger cousins Archer and Camille, who came along for the trip as well. But after the sun started to set and it got dark outside, we headed five miles down the road to this little log cabin where we would be staying the night. We had to sleep well that night for the big day that followed. After a delicious breakfast down by the river, we started our activities. First off, Uncle David took us down to the horse stable to feed the horses. Easy, easy, easy. Oh! <laughs> Ew! It took me a couple of tries, but I eventually got the hold of it. All over this area? Oh! <laughs> Next up was shooting targets with the pellet gun. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Check this out. I just shot. Bullseye. Right there. And of course, the thing I was looking most forward to was riding the ATV. Things really started getting fun when Uncle David drove us down to the abandoned silver mine to have a quick visit. The trip update at what we're doing so far. So we're walking out into this like abandoned uh, silver mine that was closed in like 1985. It's super hot and there's tons of bugs. A ton of abandoned buildings and it's pretty awesome. But it's hard and I'm so tired. Look at this. We're, we're visiting one of the abandoned showering rooms. This is straight out of a horror movie or Blair Witch Project. This is so cool. Boom! Hands up, the best abandoned silver mine I've ever been to. Not that I've been to a silver mine before. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. More creepy horror movie stuff. What was this? I'm going into another giant building. And right after visiting the mine, 
We headed a couple miles down the road to the Clayton Museum, which used to be an old general store. I am Colin. But of course, what would be a better way to end the big day than a delicious steak dinner and some awesome off-road ATV riding. After visiting the Yankee Fort Gold Ridge in this cool ghost town, we headed down into Clayton in the afternoon, where everyone was helping to set up the 4th of July party for the following day. I interviewed Uncle David on how they were cooking the meat. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're seasoning. We're on our end of this. We're seasoning this, and then we're wrapping it up in a wet uh, piece of equipment. And then it's going to go down, and they're going to wrap it up in paper. And then they're going to put it in burlap and wire it up to shut. And then they're going to put it in the fire at about midnight. And then we'll pull it out about eight or nine o'clock. Are you doing well? Okay. Now let's fast forward to the 4th of July. Fourth of July, baby! This day couldn't be any better. It was super hot and sunny outside. Everyone was in their costumes and we were all ready to go. At least five billion degrees here, no kidding. Before we had the barbecue, we were going to watch the 4th of July parade. Cammie was lucky enough to get into it as well. Right after the parade, we just chilled out in our lounge chairs until the barbecue was ready. And when we finally got in line to get our food, it was totally packed. And take it from me, it was totally worth it. Mm, that's awesome. And after the national anthem, we headed back to Uncle David and Aunt Nancy's. We sadly reached the end of our trip, but it was time to go hard or go home. We were gonna end this trip with a bang by going whitewater rafting, which I've been looking forward to the entire trip. After meeting our instructor, we got the paddles and put on our life jackets and we're ready to go.
and things got bumpy really fast. One of the people on the raft also had a GoPro, and they were nice enough to share the footage with me, so I could get two angles. At one point my mom fell off the boat, but I wasn't able to get any video of it because we were technically underwater. We even passed by the cabins we were staying in. After taking a short snack break by the river, we arrived at the end of our trip where we took a shuttle down to our car where we drove back to Uncle David and Aunt Nancy's to have one final dinner of the trip. <laughs>